Major League Baseball, the best ran league in all of professional sports, said no one ever. Hey guys, it's Josh, the 90 Know-It-All, coming to you today to talk about Major League Baseball and how they have literally screwed up everything they could this offseason. But guys, before we jump into that, please take a moment, moment subscribe to the channel. That, that'll let you know when we have new videos, especially with the season about to start. Going to have tons of interviews, going to have lots of video of games and footage like that. Also, I'm working on the documentaries I'm trying to do, the one about JUCO baseball and the one just about Northwest baseball. Uh, they're not going to be super long or even super fancy, but it's fun. I'm enjoying it. You know, I'm not a video guy, but hey, I'm going to give it a shot, see what turns out. And worst case scenario, it's something I look back on and say, eh, it was cool. It was fun. But guys, let's jump into the topic for today because Major League Baseball has become an absolute cluster. I mean, it's horrible. This is the epitome of what everything could go wrong in an offseason. First, you have the all the issues in the World Series with the Astros making comments about female reporters and different things like that. And just that didn't start things off the right way. It ended the season horribly. But you jump into the things that are going on. You have the minor league baseball fiasco that's going on. Uh, with Major League Baseball, that stuff is is giving Major League Baseball a huge black eye in a lot of fans' perspective. You have the cheating scandal, and the longer that's going on, the worse it's looking. And not necessarily for the players. I think it's still bad for the players. Still looks bad for all of them, especially since a lot of people, you know, they're just pissed off. They're mad, but it's looking even worse for the ownership, the front office. The managers, it's just looking bad. And each week we get more information. And granted, I, I just talked to a, an Astros fan yesterday. And he's like, I'm still a fan, but I can't defend the team. And that, how can you? At this point, how can you? And yes, you can sit and defer and block and say, other teams cheat too. I don't think that this level is common spread across the game of baseball whether it is whether it isn't that isn't a thing but you know then you have this last few days of the the Mookie Betts has been traded oh wait Boston pulled out because the fans didn't like it and that's what happened it's not because they saw the medical report of a prospect and thought oh he's not a, re a starter he's actually a reliever when everyone thought that he was a reliever everyone including the twins who who had him saw him as a reliever Boston heard the outcry from their fans and they got chicken feet and they, they backed out. And then, so the trade was over and the Dodgers came back in, had to change the deal to make the trade actually happen. So Mookie Betts was traded twice to the Dodgers. And it just, you know, th then you have the Dodgers and the Angels with their Jock Peterson trade that now suddenly has been shut down because the owner of the Angels was just impatient and, you know, there, that may not be all the truth, but that's what's coming out. And this looks horrible for Major League Baseball. Major League Baseball looks like a joke, like the laughing stock of professional sports here in America right now. I mean, let's be honest. The only thing that could happen worse right now than anything else is if Mike Trout walked out and said, you know what, I'm going to retire from the game of baseball and go fishing for the rest of my life. That's the only thing that could happen that's worse than what's already happened. I mean, you have the Mets failing to sell their team because the Wilpons will not sell. They will not release control. And it's just, baseball's a joke. Baseball's become a joke in the eyes of other sports fans and other sports leagues. I mean, it was just a couple years ago that I heard every day, Roger Goodell, he's so horrible. The NFL needs to fire him, get rid of him. And now I think NFL fans are looking at Major League Baseball and what they're going through and the commissioner we have now. And they're thinking, oh, Goodell ain't so bad. We can deal with him for right now. Let's be okay with it. Let's just not do what Major League Baseball is doing. Let's, let's do our thing. And it's crazy to think that baseball, which has been around for, for over 100 years here in America, is now really in danger of losing a lot of its fan base. It's true. I mean, 
if you start cutting out minor league teams, you start cutting out, you know, fans who can't even go to games. Major League Baseball is just having a horrible offseason. And then you have the realization that relationships between Major League Baseball and the Players Union are not great. They are not great. In fact, you have players right now who are furious about some of the things that are going on. This is not looking good. The future of Major League Baseball and the relationship they have with the Players Union, it's looking very, very questionable. And we're probably going to get into a work stoppage, whether it's a strike or a lockout. Something's going to happen, and it's it's not going to be good. It's not going to be good for the game. It's going to hurt the game. It's going to hurt the fan base. And it's just, it's crazy. I mean, it, here's, a, here's the best way I can describe how crazy it is. The official Major League Baseball Twitter account was tweeting out trade rumors. Why is the official Major League Baseball account tweeting out trade rumors? Not trades that are completed, but trade rumors out to the public. That is not the the responsibility or the job of the official account of Major League Baseball. That is That is the last thing they should be doing. That's MLB trade rumors. That's what their job is. That's what Ken Rosenthal, that's what those guys are there to do. Major League Baseball's official Twitter account should not be tweeting out trade rumors and asking the public, hey, what are your thoughts on this? That's horrible. It looks bad for Major League Baseball. It looks really bad. And yet it keeps happening. Things like that have happened the entire offseason. And I can't... I can't defend them. I can't defend the stupidity that is happening with Major League Baseball right now. And I know there's smart people there. I know there's smart people from the top to the bottom. But for some reason, they're acting stupid. Every chance they get, they do something stupid. And it's it's going to catch up at some point. It's going to catch up. And it's sad because pitchers and catchers, they're starting to report. You're seeing guys... In Arizona, seeing guys in Florida taking hacks, taking you know some throws and, and stretching and, and starting to get into the rhythm of things. This should be a time in which all that I'm talking about is which teams are reporting, how many days till the first game, which guys look good in their new uniforms. Those are the things I should be talking about. I shouldn't be talking about how Major League Baseball has become a cluster. I shouldn't be talking about that, but that's what Major League Baseball has done. And this offseason has highlighted it time and time again. Once again, you have the issues with the front office of the Astros at the end of the World Series. You have the minor league baseball fiasco that's still going on and will go on for a while. You have the cheating scandal. You have the Mookie Betts trade. You have the, the Mets' failure to sell their team to a guy who was willing to buy it. But they, it just things are not looking good. Things are not looking good for Major League Baseball. They've got to get it fixed. They've got to get the ship right. And they got to do it now. Because if they wait until there's the, the official negotiations for the next labor agreement, it's too late. It's going to be too late. Fans are going to be mad. The players union is going to be mad. It's not going to look good. It is not going to be good for Major League Baseball. So, I, I don't know what they can do to fix it other than be smart. Make smart decisions. That's the easiest thing I can say. Don't be stupid. But let's be honest. Major League Baseball, they're not going to do that. So guys, I'm Josh, the 90 Note All, coming to you today to talk about Major League Baseball and how they're nothing but a cluster right now. See you guys later.